Good morning everyone. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 13, lesson 3, model area. Page number is 839. I hope all of you are ready with your books and pencils in your hands to take the lesson. And uh, I hope all of you have already subscribed my channel, Learn Math with Mr. Saad and also press the bell icon to get notified for every new video okay let us start today's lesson boys uh, uh, for today's lesson let me give you the reference of last lesson first actually in the last lesson we were talking about the parameter uh, for example this is a rectangle okay uh, and for example the length is 8 centimeters and the width is let's say 4 centimeters boys in the last lesson you guys know that if this one is 4 so of course the opposite side is also 4 and if this one is 8 we are talking about a rectangle so opposite side will also be 8 okay now to find out the parameter which we represent by P we add all the four sides 8 4 8 4 8 plus 4 plus 8 plus 4 that is equal to 24 okay now we are taking area so to find area what we do boys we have a formula length times width what is length this one length 8 centimeter let me write it here boys to clear a is equal to length times width length is 8 we took from here and width is 4 so 8 times 4 that is 32 and which unit we were using was centimeter so to find the area boys actually what we are finding in area we are finding that how much area we have inside this how much square units we have inside this rectangle how many square units boys understand the thing square units actually it means for example if this is 8 let me clear uh, let me make it again so you guys can understand better okay let me erase this all first and draw it clear for you guys so you will understand more better okay okay now let me draw that rectangle again here okay here is that rectangle 8 centimeter which I write here 8 and this one is 4 which I write here okay boys actually what we are finding in area I'm finding that how much square units are inside now understand boys what does square units means for example this side is 8 centimeter it means 8 parts 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 and this side is 4 cm which means 4 parts this side 1, 2, 3 and 4 so how many square units I have inside if you count them that will be 32 so what we are finding actually how many square units what is the unit centimeter so we found that we can find by multiplying them 4 times 8 that is 32 if you count them you will see that these square units are 32 
So we will write square S Q, which means square, and unit, what is the unit? Centimeter, square centimeter. I hope you guys understand the idea. Now let us start solving the lesson. Let me clear the screen first. Okay, boys. Uh, look at this first one. They are just using a general units. They did not put any unit here. We can have centimeters, meters, inches, feet, whatever we have. Okay. So they are just using uh, general units. A rectangle which have four units in length. Length is four, and one unit in one unit in width. So four times one. We multiply basically length times width. So four times one. That is four here. Four and in width two. So four times two here. Four in length and in width we have three. So four times three here. 5 in length and 3 in width so 5 times 3 that is 15 I hope you guys understand things let us move to the next page okay boys here you guys can give let me show you uh, some examples let's say a sticky note for example, the length of a sticky note, for example, uh, 4 cm and the width also 4 cm. It's a square shape. So 4 times 4, that is 16. Crayon box. What is the width here, boys? I think uh, estimate or you can check with your square 5 cm. Okay, so width is 5. The length is the longer side, boys, always. So what is the longer side here? Let's say 8. 8 8 times 5 that is 40 book you can check your book and or let me write an estimate let's say length is 20 and width let's say 10 so 20 times 10 that is 200 square centimeter we'll write square centimeter with all of them square centimeters okay I hope you finished this let us move to the next question down uh, cross the first question boys how did you make your estimate it's about the estimate okay leave that one uh, which operation we use? Of course, we use multiplication. We multiply length with the width. This is the formula. Area is equal to length times width. Next page. Here, the same thing we did on the first page. 3 times 1, 3. 5 times 5 times 4, 20. Here, they give you the length actually. You have to draw this square. And the same thing down here. We have to draw seven units in length and six units which we drawn here and total how many you can count them or you can multiply them length times width okay next page a picture frame 12 times 9 that is 108 inches they're talking about inches so we'll use square inches because actually we are finding how many square units inside uh, area of a classroom 30 times 15 450 they're talking about feet so square feet uh, they're talking about a carpet for a living room 15 times 10 that's 150 square feet and here are the remaining questions on page 842 uh, the homework is 840 3 and 44. I hope you guys understand the lesson. Try to finish your classwork and homework and send me your homework through Pioneer only. Thank you so much boys. Have a nice day.